Well, good afternoon, Year 10. Um, welcome to your September planning assembly. Um, it's Mrs Jones here and I've got Miss Walkie just behind me. We're going to um, switch over just about three quarters of the way through the assembly. Um, you can't see us because there's a bit of an issue with the camera, to be completely honest, but um, we'll make sure that we're nicely loud and clear for you. Um, first of all, I just wanted to start by saying well done and thank you because your positivity and resilience over the course of the last few months and particularly the last few weeks has been absolutely brilliant. Whether you've been working uh, remotely at home or you've been coming into school um, for your face to face sessions, we just wanted to say thank you and congr congratulate all of you on your positivity. So today's assembly is about um, our plans for September and basically things are going to be very different in that bear with me one second because our, my computer has literally just glitched oh there we go caught up um, so your return to school dates just so that you're crystal clear on this um, are going to be Tuesday the 8th of September. Um, so we have training days on the 3rd and 4th of September. Year 9 and Year 12 are in on Monday the 7th of September and Year 11 as you will be in September along with all other year groups will be expected in on Tuesday the 8th and we'll have a couple of hours where you'll be with your tutor um, just to explain how things are going to be different and you'll also have um, quite detailed assemblies delivered to you as well. Your tutor group details, form rooms and timetables will be emailed to you on the 3rd of September. Now, as you can appreciate, things are going to be quite different when you return to school in September um, following the government guidance, which came out on the 2nd of July. But the intention behind that guidance is to ensure that every single student can attend school full time from September. Um, but from our perspective, our objectives, our aims for you are firstly to keep all members of the Corp Hill School community and their families safe, to make sure that we follow the government guidance, but to balance that with maintaining our high expectations of you so that we can enable and support everyone to learn to the max in a supportive learning environment. So the first thing that's going to be different in September is potentially um, traveling to and from school. So our advice to you is that where possible, we would like for you to walk or cycle to school if you can. You should avoid traveling with others outside of your family in the same car. That's probably one of the most important differences. If you find yourself in a position where you are having to share your car with other people, then you need to ensure that the windows are open, that you sit side by side and you wear a face mask. That's the current guidance from the government. If you take public transport to school, you must wear a face mask. Now that came into effect, that rule came into effect several weeks ago. And it's really important that you do that because otherwise you will be prevented from traveling. So if you come to school on public transport, you must wear a face mask. And also, if you come to school on a school bus, whether it's from Merley or Sturminster Marshall, you also must wear a face mask. So if you are having to wear a face mask for your travel to and from school, um, ideally, what we'd like to advise is that you wear one that can be reused um, and after it's been washed, after you've used it once um, in terms of just being environmentally friendly. That's ideally what we'd like to advise. Um, but you will need to make sure that you bring two with you because whether you use a reusable one or a disposable mask, you will need to wear different ones for the journey to school and for the journey from school back home again. If you are wearing a reusable mask, it must be sealed in a plastic bag and kept inside your school bag throughout the day. Um, you need to take care when you're removing it. Um, guidance suggests actually that you don't touch the front of the mask, you hold onto the ties, you roll it up and then you tie it by the ties, place it in a plastic bag, leave it inside your school bag throughout the day. 
and then you have your second clean mask to wear for the return journey. If you come into school and you're wearing a disposable mask, um, you need to make sure that you remove it from your face in exactly the same way as a washable mask. Um, but clearly you will need to bin it before you come into the school building. So we will make sure that we provide for you when you come off um, the buses and before you go into the school building, a closed bin so that you can dispose of your mask safely. The other key difference in September um, is that the government have, have advised us that we need to group our students into what they call bubbles. Um, and what that means is that every year group is going to be classed as a bubble. So we're going to have a year nine bubble, year 10, year 11 and a sixth form bubble. And each bubble or each year group will be allocated to a specific zone or area within the school building. Year 11 will be counted as a bubble and we are not allowed and you are not permitted to mix with students from other year groups. That's really, really important. So therefore, for each of the different zones within the school, we will allocate separate catering, separate rooms, different entrances, different exits, toilets and social spaces. And the reason behind this is because what we're trying to do is minimise any risk of infection. So for Year 11 students, you will start school at the normal time. So on Tuesday, the 8th of September, the expectation is that you arrive at school at the normal time, ideally just before or around half past eight, and you will be allocated to two entrances. Now, this is really important. You are not going to be allowed to enter the school via any different entrance. And your two entrances are, as you can see from the pictures, the student entrance, which is the big entrance just outside room six, which is basically where you, if you um, catch a bus, that's where you enter the school building for when you catch a bus. Um, and then the rear entrance is the back of English because your zone will be within English. I'll come on to that in a minute. So just to reiterate, the student entrance is your front entrance. And if you're coming in the back way, it will be the back of English. Each area before you come into the school, um, will, there will be hand sanitizers available and you will need to make sure clearly that you sanitize your hands properly before entering the school building. You'll need to make sure that you follow the signs. And because every student potentially will be leaving the school at the same time at the end of the day. What we've decided to do is to stagger the times for the end of each day. Um, and what that means is that the year nines will be leaving at a slightly different time from other year groups and so on. And what that looks like for you, year 11, is that Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you will be finishing school at 10 past three. That's instead of five past three. So we'll just keep hold of you for that little bit longer to maximize your learning and to ensure that you leave just after the other year groups. And on Thursday and Friday, that means that you will be leaving school at 10 to 3. So the year 11 zone, um, your zone, and I'm going to show you on a map in a minute, is going to be the silver zone. And one of the ways that we are going to be able to identify you is aside from wearing your house lanyards, which you will be expected to do as per normal, Every year group will be given a different coloured badge with your, it's, we're calling it a year badge and yours will be silver. And that's really to provide staff with um, an, easy, an easy method for us to identify every single student and make sure that they are in the right zones. So your zone is going to be the English faculty area right, way, right the way through to the other side of the Choices Cafe. And you will find that there will be barriers to separate your zone from others. So, for example, as you're walking towards the LRC, if you can visualise this, it very quickly then becomes the sixth form zone. So there will be a barrier cutting across the corridor to prevent you as year 11s moving into the sixth form zone and vice versa. Now, what this means is that the majority of your lessons will have to be based in the English classrooms because that is your zone and the teachers for your different subject areas will need to move to you. So your movement 
will be restricted, but the teachers will be moving around between the different zones. If you have a subject or a lesson that requires a specialist room, um, so for example, PE or media, you will be picked up by your teacher from your zone. So you'll be allocated a specific room for that lesson within your zone. And then you will be escorted to your specialist room. For example, it might be a science lab by the relevant member of staff. And the reason for that is because actually the, your specialist room might be in a different zone or you might need to walk through a different zone. And that way we can make sure that you all kept together. You're socially distancing yourself from others, etc. The impact on this for a house assemblies means that we won't be able to have house assemblies in the normal way because clearly they are mixed year groups or bubbles. So therefore, every other week we will be holding virtual house assemblies, still led by the heads of house, um, but we've become very expert at using Teams recently. So we'll make sure that we deliver that via Teams. And then every other week we will be meeting as year groups um, in the main hall as usual. Um, and that will be every fortnight. Your allocated catering facility will be Choices Cafe. Um, and that will be available for you to use as well as an inside social space, along with some of the um, classrooms in English. And your outside social space will be the area within English, which we call the quad. There's a picture of it down the bottom for you there. It doesn't look very nice at the moment, but it will be weeded before September. And a specific section of the field so that when the weather's nice, hopefully in September, you will still be able to go outside and have that important fresh air. You'll be allocated English corridor toilets only. Um, and again, the key message from me here is that you must stay in your own zone. And again, the reason behind that is to minimize the risk of cross infection. Now, you may not be able to see this in detail, but I will email you this assembly um, shortly and maybe you can spend a bit more time looking at it. But your area is the kind of grey silver area that we've colour coded and the specialist areas have all been coloured in pink. So those are the rooms that your teacher will need to escort you to if you have a lesson that requires a specialist room. Now, it's really, really important that you make sure that you bring all of your own equipment. I have to say, as a year group, you've been absolutely brilliant at this, but it's now more important than ever that you are properly prepared for September. I've included here a suggested um, equipment list, which is our basic equipment list. And you need to come to school in September with everything on that list because we will not be allowed to lend you specific equipment and you will not be allowed to borrow equipment off other students. Every single one of you will be allocated a mini whiteboard. Some of you already have those. In fact, many of you already have these. Um, and that really is to provide you with the opportunity of showing your teacher your work so that they can provide feedback without necessarily the teacher being able to come around the room to check your work. So make sure, Year 11, that you are properly prepared from, from day one. Hygiene and clearing, cleaning is very important. Um, and I just wanted to take the opportunity, really, of reassuring you that every room and the toilets every toilet will be regularly cleaned. Um, the specialist rooms, because these are rooms that different year groups will be using, will be cleaned every lesson using anti-back wipes. So for example, if you've been placed in a computer room, it will have been wiped before, sorry, at the end of the previous lesson, and you will go in and um, use anti-back wipes to wipe the computers for yourself as well. Um, and we will expect for you to hand sanitise on entry and exit to every classroom um, and shared spaces. And um, actually, it's really important if you can to be able to bring your own so that actually you can um, sanitise your hands more frequently um, if you feel the need. However, having said that, we would like to encourage you to make sure that you frequently wash your hands for at least 20 seconds that if you've got a cough um, or you sneeze, you catch it in a tissue, you bin it to kill it. And if you do need to cough or sneeze, then you do so in the crook of your arm so that you're not effectively infecting your hands. And you should avoid touching your face. 
at all times. Social distancing. Um, now the guidance has changed slightly. So in schools um, from September, we have to uh, aim to keep at least one meter away from other students. That's student to student. You need to aim to keep at least one meter away where possible. Now, this may not be possible in all lessons because actually if there are 28 of you in a class, we can't fit you all in if we stick to the one metre distancing. So therefore, you will all be facing the front. You won't be moving around the classroom. You will be hand sanitising, etc. Now, the social distancing rule is different for staff. Um, for staff and students, so that's the distance between staff and students, that distance of two metres must be maintained. And that two metres also has to be maintained from uh, sorry, between staff. Um, and the reason behind that is because actually the staff are moving between the different bubbles and zones. And again, we need to make sure that we minimise any risk of cross infection. You've heard this from me before, but it's really, again, very, very important that you follow this advice and guidance. If you demonstrate or develop any coronavirus symptoms, which are a new persistent cough, raised temperature, or a change or loss of smell or taste, then you must stay at home. You should not, under any circumstances, come into school and you need to self isolate for seven days. You must arrange a test. And if your test comes back negative within those seven days, then you can come back into school, which is what we all want. If anyone in your household has symptoms of coronavirus, then you will need to self-isolate with them for 14 days. But again, hopefully they will have been able to secure a test. And if that comes back negative, then you will need to make sure that you return to school. And if any student develops symptoms whilst they're in school, we have a protocol in place where they will be immediately isolated in a specific room that's allocated within each of the individual zones and parents and carers will be contacted and that student will be sent home immediately. We will be working with you to ensure that we have our high expectations um, right from day one when you return in September and we expect for you as normal to ensure that you follow these instructions because there's going to be a number of changes in place for September. We're really relying on you to buy into us operating and developing um, as an effective school community to make sure that we can keep everybody safe. The uniform expectations will be as normal, so we expect for everyone to return in full school uniform and everyone will be wearing their normal house lanyards and for years 9, 10 and 11 a year badge as well. Um, and because we belong to such a caring community, we think it's really important that we just follow the instructions to make sure that we protect and support each other to enable every single one of you to be able to learn to the max in what is going to be a really, really important year for you, year 11. Um, and to make sure as well that we follow the core fields way and you will be acting as positive, positive role models for other students in the school. So next steps. First of all, make sure that you check the map carefully. You need to know when you're coming back to school, what time you need to be here from, and also which entrance you need to enter the school building from. That's really, really important. Your form rooms and your tutor group details will be emailed to you before the start of term, but we will also make sure that we have signs on all of the doors so that if for whatever reason you have forgotten, um, you can come in to your zone and check. And finally from me, just make sure that you bring the correct equipment and be prepared to learn to the max. I'll hand over now to Miss Walkie. Good afternoon, Year 10. Um, I'm Miss Walkie. I'm one of the maths teachers. So I've probably met most of you. My other role in the school is that I'm raising standards leader. And what that means is that I work really closely with Year 11 and Year 13 students to help ensure that you guys are able to move on to your next steps and achieve the GCSE or A-level grades that you are very capable of achieving. So my first message to you is very much one of you have got this. 
We have been so impressed with everything that you've done up to this point. So there really at this point is no need to worry or to panic. You absolutely have this. What I want to just talk to you very briefly about is a couple of changes in terms of We Are Readers time and your tutors in year 11, just so that if you saw your timetable over the summer or whatever, that you weren't worried about it. So this will get sent out to you, so don't worry if the screen disappears very quickly, but you will have um, been made aware from a letter that went home to your parents that some of the tutors are changing and there's a very important reason for this which I will talk to you about in a minute. If you could just mute your mic that would be super, thank you. So in year 11 rather than participating in the wonderful We Are Readers program like um, students in year 10 and in year 9 do, we offer you something called subject support and this happens during that We Are Readers, that war time, so that um, 9.40 to 10 o'clock time in the morning and rather than doing We Are Readers you will be in groups um, for different subjects so you won't necessarily be with your tutor although you may well be um, and they will help you focus on lots of different things so exam technique, brushing up on some prior knowledge from year 10, whatever that group in particular needs and these groups are very much decided at the moment by your teachers. I've spoken to all of your teachers and they've let me know who would be best in which group first. And these groups we anticipate will change four times in the year. So for example, if you start off doing geography, then you will move on to a different subject another three times throughout the year. Now, this is something that is offered and is given to absolutely everybody. So it's really important that you hear me when I say this. It is not us saying we are worried about you in this subject. What it is saying is that we know by giving you extra support in any subject, it enables you to do that little bit better. So that is all it is. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm really good at geography. Why am I in a geography group? It may well be the focus of that geography group is to really you know, push those students up to those high achieving grades. It isn't just a case of receiving this additional support because we are worried. So phase one will last around eight weeks and the subjects at the moment that are included are English, maths, computer science. There'll be a mixed group of engineering, product design and graphics, geography, history, chemistry, biology and physics. Now I say those are, are the ones that are included at the moment because actually we are here to support you. So if it turns out through the year that actually we need to include different subjects or we need to include more groups of other subjects to support your individual needs, then we will look at doing that. And we did this last year with year 11 and it worked really well. And actually towards the end of the intervention, they were telling us what subjects that they felt they needed and I was able to put that together for them. So it's very much year 11, a partnership between you and us and working out what support you need so that you can be as successful as possible. All we need you to do is to get on board, buy into it, and it's all gonna be great. Just to let you know, I'm not making it up. In the past, these are the kinds of things year 11 have said. They've told me it's made them feel really more confident. Um, they've learned loads and really understand how to get those marks and have seen their grades improve. And crucially, it's helped them work on some subjects within the school day so that they can do some other subjects that they aren't doing as part of this program in the evening, rather than having to do it all and feel really overwhelmed. So looking ahead to September and beyond, two things to say to you really, you have absolutely got this, we believe in you and we've got you. So if you need anything at all or you're worried, you have a whole massive team of people who are, you know, ready and waiting to support you. We work with Year 11 students every single year. We're really, really expert at this school at supporting you through the challenges that it will present. And if you work with us and talk to us, then we are going to be even more successful. I've put my email down on the bottom there, but obviously you've got your tutors, you've got your subject teachers, lots of other people that you can get in contact if you want. But if you're not sure who to get in contact with, you can always email me, which is dwalkie at corefields.net. So that's about it from us today. We do hope that you have a really lovely summer. Do get in touch if you've got any questions at all or anything that's worrying you. 
Hope you have a nice rest and have some time to catch up with friends and family. I know that the last few months have been very intense and that you've been working so hard in this different way. Do stay safe and we absolutely cannot wait to see you in September. Thank you.